Tina, you are very familiar with uh, with the Korean scene. What's going on now in Seoul? In Seoul, we are very excited to um, open the Freeze Art Week. It is our second year, um, and many uh, visitors are in town from Southeast Asia, from America, and from Europe. There are many uh, museums um, excited to welcome international guests. Um, they have opened many exhibitions already since last week. Um, there's been events at different um, fashion houses, um, different um, museums. But in general, with the culture, yes. the Korean culture, mm -hmm. K culture, yes. what's going on? I think K culture at the moment is really exploding. But why? What's going on? Why is, is, is there so much international enthusiasm for the Korean culture? I think it has a very um, global um, impact. Impact because Korean um, K pop is really um, popular amongst young generation around the world. Mm -hmm. And Korean uh, movies and Korean soap operas are so popular on Netflix and in the movie theaters throughout Southeast Asia. This is where young Southeast Asian. Um, children and adults inspire about this global um, what new wealth um, and they are fascinated to learn about Korean beauty, Korean fashion, Korean food. And, and does, it, does it has an impact on the Korean art? Absolutely. Like what? Um, in America this year, there is going to be there already. The Guggenheim already opened the new expen new experimental exhibition at um, Guggenheim Museum. Philadelphia Museum is opening a contemporary Korean art exhibition. Mm. Smithsonian is opening an exhibition by Park Chang Young, a very uh, important conceptual um, multimedia artist. Mide Lee is a young artist I work with. She's having a show at New Museum. Next year, Hayworth is hosting um, Hegu Yang, a very celebrated Korean artist. Um, so this is crazy. It's yes. a new wave. Absolutely. And here on your boost, you have some artists that are represented in some museum outside of Korea. Um, so um, there you can see a work by... Um, Let's go and see it. This is work by Mide Lee. Mm -hmm. She is an artist who, um, who makes kinetic sculptures. This work, in fact, was exhibited at the Venice Biennale. Mm -hmm. um, and she currently has a show at the New Museum in New York. She had a phenomenal year. She was included in Carnegie I saw the show. It's extraordinary. Yes, yes. It's like the end of the world, in fact. Yes. We're very excited to be representing her and bringing her work here. Um, I'm also showing works by... Um, Che Okyung, she is a much older generation. She's from um, the Tansekwa um, painter's age, but she studied in Cleveland. Um, she, no, sorry. No? She did not study at Cleveland. <laughs> she studied um, She where? studied in Michigan, Clem Brooks Academy. She was recently included at Tate's at Pompidou's. <laughs> she was recently included in the um, female abstract painting exhibition hmm. um, and she's really being looked at by international curators at the moment. These and works. does it mean that the Korean artists are, there's more demand for the Korean artists and the prices are going up? Yes. And I mean, Korean artists are um, interesting in all generations. For instance, Ukyong Choi, these works are from 60s when she was living and working in America. Okay. Bon, merci beaucoup. Kamsamida. <laughs> Kamsamida. <laughs>